Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Now on the channel, we have done lots of AI-ing. We've used AI as a cabin crew. Oh, Captain, that landing was so smooth. It could have been mistaken for a gentle hug from a cloud. So that means dinner tonight. I've even had AI make a whole video. That kind of sucked. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your captain, Swiss001 here. AI has definitely come a long way, but the question is, can it design an airplane? Let's do that today. And let's go ahead and fly that airplane today. And I know exactly where to start off. Maybe not with ChatGPT, but perhaps with a website called Meshi AI that's able to create 3D models. Yes, we're gonna have a 3D model made from AI. Let's do that. So, new model, passenger. Airplane. There we go. And we can just press generate like that. And after a few seconds, it's already made four designs of passenger airplanes. Now, this one looks really funky here with four engines. What the hell is wrong with that one? That's actually brilliant. This one looks rather realistic, but you know what? I think I'm, I'm liking this one the most, actually. This one is great. Let's go ahead and use this one and generate this. Come on. Generate a texture. Ah, and it's already done. That literally didn't take long whatsoever. And it doesn't look that good. Um, let's go ahead and download it immediately. Hey, I've just, I've just downloaded it. Look at that. All right, so here we are at my Mac computer where we'll do most of the development. Take a look at our aircraft. I think we're pretty much ready to go. It's a, really a question of how much work should I put into this? Probably not much. I mean, if I were to just import this into the flight simulator to fly, we won't have any animations here of the engines, nor of the wing, nor of the landing gear, but that won't really matter. Let's just go ahead and remove this piece right here, which kind of, there we go, that's a lot better. And let's simply import this into X-Plane. AI plane object, perfect. Now, I want to use AI fully today. So let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this and ask ChatGPT for the specifics. I am creating, I modeled, or something like that. So, um, first of all, I'm, I need a name. Please give me a name for this plane. Give me the engine specs and further specific to make this airplane a well flying machine. All right, so this airplane will be called Aurora 4000. We've got four engines, 18,000 pounds of thrust. Here is the aircraft dimensions. That is great. And stuff like aerodynamics, avionics, and all that. Okay, that's good. So here we are now building our own airplane. First of all, let's call this airplane the Aurora 4000, made by Swiss 01. File version 001. Good service ceiling, 42,000 feet, something like and that. Let's support our newest object. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm creating a body here in X Plane, which means I'm kind of trying to rebuild what the 3D model looks like so that Flight Simulator can calculate, you know, a flight model. It's simple as that. That should be able to do it. Let's now add the wing. Okay. Looks actually quite all right. Okay, let's add now the horizontal stabilizer. And now let's do the engine. We, of course, now have four of them. Well, of course, 18,000 pound of thrust per engine, although that seems like quite a lot. Let's put those right there. Good. All right, now time to add the landing gear. Look at that. Now, here's lots of data right here, which is needed to calculate this surplane's um, stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and just give that to ChatGPT. All right, stall speed be 150 knots. 125 knot, minimum control speed, stuff like that. Angle of climb, best rate of climb. I wonder if this thing will all, at all fly, <laughs> genuinely. I feel like um, Chachi Petit really wants a weak aircraft. 2.5 G, pause of G limit. Sounds quite a little. All right, and so I think we're done. The only thing that's left to do is the center of gravity. Let's go ahead and just screenshot this as well and send this to ChatGPT. Very good, very good. This is very easy now. Empty weight of our airplane is 95,000 pounds. Fuel load, 45,000 pounds. Cargo capacity, 20,000 pounds. Yes, maximum weight is 185. And so here we are. Save. Uh, we haven't got any fuel tank. Okay, fuel pump pre pressure, okay. All right, and so here's our airplane saved. Let's go ahead and fly it. Everybody, after one and a half hours of building, here is the Aurora 4000 by Swiss Designs. <sighs> Let's go ahead and load it into um, La Mole. Everybody, welcome aboard the Aurora 4000. Um, um, which is kind of broken as it seems. 
But hey, we can fix that. I think the issue here is in the center of gravity where the um, chat GPT just got it completely wrong. Look, it's supposed to be like right here. Here's the center of gravity, like just between the wings. This will work a lot better now. Let's try that. All right, this works better indeed. Welcome aboard the Aurora 4000 now. Um, it has nose wheel steering. I think the nose landing gear might be a little bit broke. I don't know why, but we're like steering to the left, which is very funny. Let's uh, try to take off actually. Just given full power on those four engines of ours. Yes, come on. I have no idea what, hello. By the way, this is the cockpit. The cockpit doesn't look doesn't look very impressive. Uh, all right, come on, stay on the runway. Stay nice, stay good. Let's fly our Aurora 4000 airplane. Hey, look, now we're able to somewhat steer it. Look at that, uh, yes, yes, look at that. It flies, barely, it flies. Now, I think I have some issues with the nose landing gear, but that's another story. Look at this, we're flying our Aurora 4000 aircraft. Now, one problem is that we don't, um, we can't put the landing gear up. Like, we can put it up virtually, and that way the airplane will go faster. But obviously, this model is not very well done. I think it's interesting what this 3D model is anyway. It looks kind of like those airplanes you'd find on the ground at airports on Google Earth. And I think that's kind of the whole idea of a 3D object AI generator. Probably they have a million thousand 3D models in the database from which they can regenerate stuff like airplanes. And it ends up looking like this. Now, this engine configuration obviously is not very contemporary no one would put four engines with this kind of size kind of reminds me of like the 737 200 engines on an airplane like this nowadays i don't even know if it's a good idea to place an engine directly behind the main wings i mean i don't know how that's gonna affect performance it's interesting this plane flies very poorly i've never flown an airplane that's this hard to fly like elevator control is Barely there, Jesus Christ, we almost died. We have barely any elevator control. Let's maybe see if we can land this airplane at Le Mole again to conclude our first test flight. Now, the problem is, I don't know if the landing gear is officially down or not. I think it is down. Let's put the flaps down now. We can't see that and try to land down there. Um, yeah, um, we could continue this project. We can maybe even make animations there. That's, those are not hard to do. And we can also add a 3D cockpit, which could also be AI generated, although I'm kind of scared to do that. But, but overall, I'm pretty impressed by the 3D modeling generator. I mean, this is a plane that flies in terms of how it's built, in terms of how the wing dihedral is, in terms of how interesting the vertical stabilizer looks, kind of reminds me of the old 747. Aerodynamically, AI has been able to build a flying airplane. And ChatGPT almost got all the values right. I'm really impressed. Now, let's maybe, oh my God. We need quite a lot of airspeed to keep this airplane afloat. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, we're dying, we're dead. Okay, let's tr try landing again. Let's maybe try to just make the elevator surface a little bit bigger, like that. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. This airplane, okay, this airplane, never mind. AI's built a very poorly flying airplane. It stalls out very quickly. Jesus Christ, we need at least 200 million knots to fly. Uh, all right, fellas, uh, please ignore everything that I've just said. This airplane has the flying characteristics of a Concorde, but it doesn't fly this quickly. We need at least a million knots to fly this. All right, come on, runway is down. Down there still let's try to land it at 250 knots because that's the only way this airplane will actually stay in the air so that's great news all right we are coming in fast we're coming in hot but we have reversers we've got brakes we've got everything we need come on time to do this whoa whoa yes now time to reverse thrust you can i think i've landed so hard the nose landing gear is broke i've built the worst airplane ever my eye has done that i don't take any credit for this um test flight gone well um okay maybe this wing dihedral is quite a lot as well as with this wing sweep we have it's quite a lot of wing sweep right there this is like a fighter jet almost which means also um you need a lot of airspeed to fly and that's kind of a yeah, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.